Hey guys, just wanted to get you caught up before I get going too far here. I just wanted to show you how I'm doing this. Um, I have a shielded, shielded, it's called a belding cable. It's used for running sensors through buildings, uh, refrigeration, temperature sensors, things like that. Um, there's two conductors in here. I'm only using one because this is my yellow. Yellow is always hot, if you remember in the previous videos. So that needs to go. I'm going to send that directly to the battery where I have a relay set up for my... Uh, fog light so that's already ran out all the way down it goes uh through the hole goes down oh, let me shut this goes down here right fed it in by the pillar felt around snatched it over here you can see makes a pass right through there you see the wire in there where is it Anyway, there it is through there. So yeah, you can you can feel around. Comes down from there. You can feel around. Get it with your fingers. And I sent it down through a uh, hole in the bottom. See, so it just comes out. It's all under my floor space right there. See my foot moving. Um, so you just snake it down through there. Then of course it goes up through the grommet that we drilled and out into my firewall, out into my engine bay. Uh, my battery's right there on the driver's side, so that'll be a nice, easy hookup. Um, I use the 3M gel connectors. Or these are actually ideal. I believe they're hard plastic. The, the 3M are softer plastic, which I kind of like a little better, but these work also. They're filled with uh, liquid silicone. So uh, I twist the two yellows together really tightly, stripped them back a little bit, about a half inch. Same with this uh, Belden wire that... I think it's 20 gauge or, I don't know, 22 gauge, whatever it is. And uh, you can see that's pinched in that bridge. When you squeeze them, they snap, and that bridge cuts into the wire. So you get your, your jumper from wire to wire. Um, so that's for my hot. My red is going to be going to a keyed source, which will probably be in this fuse panel. And then a ground will also be able to get, let me get the light. A ground will be able to get, there's a... Uh, Oh shit, did I flip the phone? I think I did. I'm sorry. Um, there's a screw up in here I can use. Possibly this one, but I think that looks like a better candidate. So, uh, and then I can just, like that one there is jumped in. That's for my fog light. So I'll just find, I'm sure these are all switched. So that I'll take care of my red, my yellow up front. If I can find a light source uh, somewhere underneath here, wire that gets hot when I turn the lights on. I can run my orange to that and we'll be all powered up. So uh, I'll get with you on the next one, uh, see where we wind up. Uh, also, I already sent my, my uh, oil pressure uh, sensor wire is sent through and just coiled up underneath until I get the sandwich plate. There'll be a new video for the sandwich plate. That goes from your, um, that basically goes from, you take your oil filter off, like if you're gonna do an oil change, if you do your own, then it's no big deal. If it's not, you should do your own, it's easy. Take your oil filter off after you drain your oil, of course. Um, the sandwich plate fits right on there. And then your oil filter screws to that. There's, I think, three ports on it coming from Fast Religion. He gets them from Glow Shift, trims them, excuse me, trims them down properly for this block so it fits properly, repaints them, and then he sells them. So you might mark them up a couple bucks for his labor, but you'd have to do it anyway, or you'd probably have a nasty oil leak if you don't get it from him. So anyway, uh, Fast Religion, shut up. Good job, Matt. You, you're the only one. So anyway, uh, that's the deal. I'll make a video when that comes in. Sandwich plate. Uh, you could also hook up oil temperature if you wanted. I could add that later. Uh, whatever. But uh, I'll make another video when that stuff comes out. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps somebody. And uh, I was also thinking, while well, this is a part, maybe it wouldn't be, a, be a, a bad idea to switch out these tweeters. I mean, they're a little tiny speaker. How much can they be? You know, I'll get some good ones. Because that uh, comes straight across. So might go ahead and do that also. Take a look, see if there's something local I can get. But uh, all right, guys, till the next one. Thanks for watching. And uh, catch up with you soon. Oh, nice new wheel skins, leather wrap, hand stitch. These things are great. Super easy to put in. Such a different feel. Amazing. All right, talk to you later. Rambling.
Bye.